I'm so happy to see you. Okay, this, really? this You're is happy to see yeah, me. Yeah, you don't have to run in there. Okay, so the PC party as we know it. Yes. Two years from now, they're gonna be really history. Done. What 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 would be the basis for that now? Because they cannot go around and say during the election, we speak for all New Brunswickers. Mm -hmm. Because they're gonna charge fifty dollars to vote. That is not all the brothers. They say, no, 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 no. You don't want to hear it? He's gone. So, what are we going to do? This is like shale gas. I said, put it to a referendum, David. Wouldn't listen to me. Uh, Dominic Cardi, NDP. Good guy. He won his leadership with Pierre Sear. He's dead now. It was bat stabbing behind closed doors. And now we have this. I'm doing all the talking, I'm giving you time to think. Okay, so, what do you think about all that? Well, first of all, the MLAs don't get to decide this. It's the executive of the party, and the party has a president. I'm not passing the Elitism. I'll, I'll get to it. The part, now, every party has a president and has a, has a council that's made up of uh, the riding presidents. And then they put a committee together, and they came up with this uh, this number, and they don't seem to be willing to uh, to change on it. Yeah. So it's the elitism to have this party in October, the night of wine and everything, and look outside. Oh, never mind the peasants. We're having a good uh, time. Uh, look, I I don't know what their motives were. What well, what is it? You're a smart guy. Take come on. Tell me. Personally, I wouldn't charge it. I wouldn't charge forty dollars. Personally, I think it's too much. Yeah. So, so I'm quite, you know, I'm quite prepared to say that. Having said that, it wasn't me that got to decide it. There's a party executive that they. Who's the nutcase that would decide this? Well, go look it up on their webpage. That's their, uh, that's their group. It's a blog. I'm going to say it personally. I don't give a fuck. But, but, a leadership. You're in the opposition, and the poor people. You have. A poor family that can't afford the little kid could be the future premier who wants to get involved in look, politics, look, but he got no you're, money. You're arguing with the wrong person. Don't argue with me. I didn't do it. I wouldn't have supported it, and I think it's too much money. So why don't you just stand up and say to the PC, well, go I, join the People Alliance or do something? I. That's their rules. If people, I'm not telling people what to do. People can make their own minds up. If they don't want to pay the $40 and they don't want to go, I guess those are the rules. How can you be part of a party that's the elite? Come on, Ted. I don't think it's elite. That's uh, it's the rule. It's not It's not like a taxation. It's not forcing anybody to do anything. Personally, I think it's too much. It's set up for now, for Norton that Mr. Irving could play, pay all his employees $50 each to go vote. And he wins the leadership with Irving in his back pocket. Well, you gotta come on, come on, come on. Gotta, Say something here. It remains to be seen who wins when there's seven candidates. You know. By the way, uh, by the way, okay, okay. Well, we'll give you credit. The, the one you're supporting. What's her name again? Monica. How come I haven't heard from her? Is she still alive? Or yes. Is she? I, I never met her. Uh, she's clever. Is she? Of course, she's, she's bilingual. She's she's that. She's bilingual. She's clever. Uh, she has got a good sense of, uh, of all of New Brunswick, not just one part. Uh, and the more I've gotten to know her, the more I like her. And uh, everybody gets to support who they want. I think it's uh, good that uh, a woman gets involved more in our party. I think she can attract a lot of. Uh, Where you met her? And, anyway, uh, lawyers. Uh, lawyers. All, all the lawyers know the lawyers. Oh, that's right. You're a lawyer. How come I always seem to forget that? Anyway, so. <laughs> I just think she should be a good candidate. She doesn't come with any any baggage. She doesn't come with uh, with anything. She's she's smart. She. How come you didn't run? Because did you get the support? I hear you. People were supporting oh, you. I had, the scene. I had support. It was kind of flattering. But uh, I'll be 64 the next election. Oh yeah. You've got to be prepared to dedicate the rest of your life. You know, well, four to ten years. And at 64, that takes me to 74. And when you reach a certain point in life, you ask yourself, uh, you know, what do I really want to do with the rest of my life? And I didn't have this great fire in my belly to want to no. do it and all that sort of So, personally, in a conversation, me and you finally, we agree that this isn't right at all. I wouldn't 
would do it. I would have charged forty dollars for it. No. No. no that, if, if, that, if that's what you wanted me to say, yeah. I'm quite prepared to say that. Yeah. So how come you don't tell the executive to go? I have. You have. The yeah, unclosed yeah. doors you have. Wayne and Higgs has had, other candidates. So had, well, what's the problem? Are we talking to Scottish people like me that's too stubborn to listen to common they sense? They will not change the rules. They will not change the rules. Well, you know what? You know they're going to be history. You know that. I will tell. Thank you.